I'm going to go around um, listening, like, spe like, specifically, like, for the crying and stuff. And I'm, I'm also just going to be looking around at the sites of the town, like, greeting people, saying, What's up, my fellow human or orc or halfling? Or well, since you're doing other things at the same time, giving you a perception with disadvantage. Of course you do. As you're walking through the town, greeting everyone you meet, which isn't many, uh, you hear the faint sounds of sobbing and start to head toward the, towards that direction. Hello, welcome to the channel and the only part of the video that is scripted. This week's video is the second part of the new D&D &D adventures with Spike, Balasar, Ipswich, Turtle, and Blazel. If you have not seen the first video, I highly recommend doing so, as it will get you up to speed on what's happening. I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to comment below on ways to improve future videos and as always, have a great week. Balasar. I'm looking around specifically for sounds of sobbing. You go around looking for the sounds of sobbing but don't really hear anything. But as you're walking around, you do manage to run into Spike. Oh, yay. Oh, what's uh, up? Ha <laughs> have you found anything? I, I um, thought I heard some sobbing over this way, Balazar. Sh should we go check it out? Sure. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. Grozel, can't wait. what are you going to do? There's a guard that's passed out and a guard that's somewhat suspicious of you, but still almost drunk. I ask to see if I can, if he can show me his chief in command. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's he, excited to show me. <laughs> yeah, he's very eager to show his new friend to his chief, to uh, the captain of the guard. Nice. <laughs> oh, we, can, we can't forget about the passed out guy. We have to bring him with us. Give me a strength. Yeah, no. <laughs> that, uh, that's a save. That one. Oh, that, Ooh, that's save how yourself. We yeah, that still oh. doesn't work very well. You hadn't quite noticed it before, but now you are. He's quite a big guy, and you can't lift him. And the other god is quite obviously a little too drunk to try and carry his friend around. Well, guess we're just gonna leave him here. So you two uh, start to leave the tavern now, correct? Yes, and as I walk out the door, I just yell to the tavern owner, going, or the bartender, going, Can you uh, make sure this guy gets home? Uh, give me a persuasion check. Yes, the tavern owner agrees with a slight tremble in his legs. Time to cut over to Ipswich and Torture. Are we just kind of like stumbling around, like sing singing yes, like really party songs are. or something? You pretty, you're definitely stumbling around. And last week, and last time we cut off you guys, uh, Torture was practically blind because he had no idea where to look. So what are you guys going to try and do this time? Ipswich, all this walking around has taken you from just being straight up drunk, just being a bit tipsy. Mm, I guess we just keep um, on looking for the crying lady. I don't really see what else there is for us to do. Yeah, let's let's just keep looking. All right, so both of you give me a perception. So it's better than last time. Oh, hot dog. Hot <laughs> dog. <laughs> 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 oh so, joy! <laughs> we'll, oh, oh no! <laughs> Are we going to need a search party for these two? Right. <laughs> Tip switch. You don't hear the sounds of sobbing, but you think you hear the sounds of Balasaur and Spike, but you're not a hundred percent sure of the direction. And torture, you're practically still blind. Balasaur, Spike, what you gonna do? I, as we are um, heading over to where we heard the girl uh, sobbing, I am telling Balasar all about my plans. I'm like, did I ever tell you that I, I want to start up a traveling entertainment industry with everything and doing mercenary on the you side? Did. I, I did? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I can't recall that, really. Yeah, well, you did. You want to start up a... Um, circus thing. Give me with... a persuasion check. Actually, both of you give me a persuasion check. That way I can see if you believe him or not. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you don't buy it for a second. I'm like, oh, I, I don't think I did. So, I, I, I want to open a entertainment industry with doing mercenaries on the side, and it's going to be amazing. Would, would you like to be no. like a... a are you sure? 
please, please. I don't have any. I don't have any clients or um uh workers, employees. Well, that's what uh, I, I can have see. Goals of my own, sir. I can see you just d don't like me, and I continue walking. All right, so that little conversation has slowed you guys down on your way there. If switch, since you're the one who heard them, uh, give me a, another perception check. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> uh... do you think you heard the direction they are coming, their voices are coming from, but you're totally wrong and start heading the opposite direction? Nice. <laughs> All right, Rosal. So, so, you have just left the tavern with the guard leading you. Uh, put your tipsy to his captain. What are you, what are you doing? Mark. Mark. What? Oh, Mark. sorry. Pink Panther, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that song anywhere. Okay, so what are you going to do, Bruce? I mean, we're just walking over there, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're just walking uh, over right I, I there. Can't, I, you want to try and do? I don't know what I can do. Is you can like... pass this drone if you want. Yeah, you I... can always pass. Yeah, I'm, I just passed. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. All right, so I'm just walking. Switch and torture. What are you gonna do now that you're heading the wrong direction without knowing it? So we're just we're just straight up vibing. Yeah. <laughs> hey -oh. uh, give me a second. You two start heading out towards the edge of town for whatever reason, unbeknownst to you, because you think you're following the sound of their voice, but you really aren't. What are you guys gonna awesome. do? Can I like uh. perform a perception check? Yes, you can. Lit. May do I as it. well? <laughs> yeah, you can do Oh no, it. Turner, no! Hey, I did okay. <laughs> so, Ipswich, you realize you're starting to head out of the town a bit. And Shorter, you don't really notice, but with the help of Ipswich, you realize that you're definitely going the wrong way. I have to imagine oh, okay. just walking away. Ipswich kind of stops, looks around a little bit, sees like empty fields and stuff going, Where's the houses? Turner's like, I mean, uh, we can keep on going. No, 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 no. That's a very no, good point. Do you guys want to keep on going this clearly wrong direction, or would you like to turn around? Let's turn around. That sounds great. Valis or Spike, well, what you gonna do? I'm just continuing <laughs> to go where I heard the sound of her uh, crying. I'm also so. keeping a lookout for, like, you know, bandits and robbers and such. Give me a perception check. This child yeah. bandit's ferocious. Are you serious? Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, you're just child bandits coming around, stab you. and you don't really <laughs> notice anything other than <laughs> the faint uh, sounds that you heard earlier. The faint mm. hollow wind that echoes the streets. Oh, right, so I don't even know if it's night now. Spike has obviously taken the lead on this one, and you come across a woman in the street sobbing. She's obviously. A very noble woman with uh, with her long flowing gown. And then you notice behind her, there's two or three guards that are very clearly not from this town. Uh, both of you give me a perception check. Yes, master. You mean dungeon mm -hmm. master. <laughs> so, Spike. Why? You notice that the guards are all wearing an emblem on them that matches uh, the emblem on the... I'm not sure what it's called, we call it like a belt thing or whatever. You know that little belt thing that uh, they wear around in their robes? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's yeah. an emblem on it and it matches the guards. Mm -hmm. uh, I go up and ask her what's wrong. I, I follow and say, yeah. Isn't yeah. there isn't there like guards yeah. right there though? <laughs> Throughout the sobs, you can make out her saying that her child was kidnapped. By whom? She doesn't know. She just knows mm. that it was last seen southwest of town. It? Why do you keep saying it? <laughs> I, I turn to Balasar and say, this is the perfect opportunity. This could be the pilot launch of our, uh, nurse, our mercenary business. No. With, with no. traveling Stop. entertainment. Stop. Yes. <laughs> no, yes, we have to do this. We have so, to save the child, even if it's just for, like, noble reasons. Spike, <laughs> stop talking for a second. Let me think. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. I... Actually, hold on. Give me an intimidation for that one. And Spike, uh, just give me a persuasion. Yeah, Spike, you shut up. How long ago was your child kidnapped? 
Give me a perception. Do it. Uh, hold on, Spike. Give me a perception as well. So, Ballister, you are Ooh. barely able <laughs> to make up the room in sobs. While Spike can understand her clearly. Ooh. About two days ago, she responds. I've been sobbing for two days. You just been sitting there for two days. So, the woman responds, No, this town is too poor to look for my baby. I, that's why I have my own guards looking for him. I turn to her and say, mm. uh, we, we could perhaps <laughs> help. We, ha we have a party of experienced we, adventurers. Yes. While you guys are doing that persuasion check, Let's switch over to Bruzel. Please let me meet the man. Yes. The man. You have finally been led to the captain of the guard. Well, I have to introduce myself now, don't I? The <laughs> captain seems to have a look of recognition on his face. But he can't quite place where you're from, so he has oh, to gosh. approach <laughs> you. But Do notices I his tipsy guard behind you, and then ignores you and starts screeching at his guard. 